in the process of all of this crisis and recession and that we've had in the last few years, there is one DSG model that seems to have emerged as one that we can use for thinking about this, and that's this new Keynesian model. So as a consequence, I think this is only one of many reasons, but as it's one of the reasons why this model has become very, very uh, used uh, very widely among, among different people. There's also the language reason that I gave earlier, but there's also that it seems to be the only model in which we can think about the economic uh, uh, problems that we've had in the last few years. So that's one consequence, I think, of the, of the crisis, is that this interest in this, uh, uh, in this class of DSG models has been, uh, has been increased substantially. The second consequence is that now we do have to integrate, we, and have been integrating financial factors into our conception of the overall uh, macroeconomy. We are now much more uh, sensitive to the possibility that the financial sector could be a source of dysfunction in the macroeconomy, much more conscious about the possibility that we have to structure things properly. Now, DSGE models have been designed specifically to get e e even into the guts of how we should be responding. And in particular, the big question is macro, macro prudential policy. Almost the word macro prudential s is, is DSGE model. It's, it's, prudential policy means you look at one bank and you ask, you know, is this bank being operated in a safe and sound way? Macro prudential uh, policy means I look at this bank in the context of many banks. If this bank doesn't do very well, and all the other banks don't do very well either, then it could be that they will have a negative effect on the economy, and that will have a feedback loop onto all those banks so they'll do even worse, and we'll get into some kind of a doom loop of some sort. The macro prudential takes into account the possibility of systemic consequences of, of problems in banks. And we now have models that are, are beginning to capture that idea. I, the model that comes to my mind at the moment is, uh, is, a, is a model, it's a paper that's actually in preparation by Gertler and Kiyotaki. They have modeled a banking system uh, in which you have the potential of a run, like what we saw in the last few years, and the possibility that, that run could kind of bring down the whole economy. And so this is one of the important things that I've, I think has happened as a consequence of the crisis is thinking about models that we can use to think about macroprudential policy.